of the translator is about listening and communication. Now, these are two things granted that have been around for years. These are timeless leadership traits. So why did the CEOs mention them to me again? Because I specifically ask them, what skills and mindsets will you need to be a leader in 2030? That's the prompt that I gave them when I interviewed them. And they still said listening and communication. Why? Because not only are these the two most timeless aspects of leadership, but these are the two things that are also changing the most. They're changing because we have new technologies and new platforms, globally distributed teams, the things that employees care about with purpose and meaning. All these different things are changing, which means that listening and communication have never been more important. Now, a lot of leaders mistake listening with hearing. Hearing is the unconscious act of letting sound enter your ear. Listening is the purposeful, conscious act of giving somebody your attention and understanding what they're saying. Now imagine a time, and we've all experienced this, when you were having a conversation with somebody and you could tell that they are hearing you, but they're not listening. You're looking them right in the eyeball and you can tell that mentally they're thinking about lunch. You don't feel very good, do you? And you can imagine as a leader what would happen if employees try to talk to you and they feel the same. It's no wonder that they say listening is the greatest form of love and respect that you can give somebody. It's about putting away your technology. It's about practice, practicing active listening. It's about paying attention to your body language, letting the other person know that you are hearing them, not just, or that you're listening to them, not that you're just hearing them. Big difference. The communication piece is also essential here because look at all the different ways that we have to communicate. Before, right, 15, 20, 30 years ago, how would you communicate with somebody? I don't know, you maybe go over to their desk, maybe you write them a memo, a note, call someone on the phone, now we have a hundred different forms. We have Slack, we have video conferencing, people are doing town hall meetings, we're using augmented or virtual reality in some cases, you're texting people. I see grown men taking selfies and using emojis with each other. Right, this is a new thing. And we've also all experienced that time where maybe your leader sends you a, a 300 word text asking you about a project or a client update. And you get that, you got to scroll through it, doesn't even fit onto one page, right? Even on those long plus iPhones, you just got to scroll it like, dear, what is going on? We've all gotten those emails from people that look like they should be written to a therapist. Right? The way that you communicate as a leader matters. It means understanding the different channels that you're using and who's receiving it. It means understanding if you're going to have a serious conversation with somebody, maybe you reserve that for in-person dialogue, not a sad face emoji. Right? It's understanding the different platforms and channels that are out there and how to use them. Because as a leader, the communication piece is going to be even more essential in the future because there's a lot of noise, so much noise that's out there. How do you make sure that your message gets across? And the more senior you become, often the less time others get with you. Which means that in that short amount of time that other people get with you, your message needs to get across regardless if you're texting somebody, regardless if you're sending an emoji, if you're on Slack, if you're giving a town hall, if you're doing a video conference, even if you're doing some sort of a hologram, which companies are starting to do, your message needs to get across regardless of the platform or channel that you're using. And they can't all be used the same. Arnold Donald is the CEO of Carnival Cruises. And I love the way that he said this, and he basically understood that it all comes down to understanding what motivates your people. What they care about, what they value, what matters to them. As a leader, the listening and communication piece is going to be essential. <laughs>